not this week. I am Okay, watch it, Keith, because I got to get going, though.
And I'd also like to thank Diane Rogatinsky, who made the effort to contact Neris and give us this opportunity. Also to Neris for giving me the opportunity to perform our style of polkas and show what it's all about. <laughs> Let me just start that over. I'm sorry, I'm just all nervous here. I'd like to thank Neris for giving us the opportunity to show what polka music is all about and put it in the mainstream of American music and let the people know what it's all about. And I have a couple gentlemen here from Neris with us right now, and I'd like to get them up here. Jay Ross. Of the international. Of the international. Oh. Here he is. Yeah. I want to thank you all for coming out here. This is a great night for Chicago.
It's a rough one. I also wanted to thank a young lady by the name of Diana Rogojinsky who did not get covered by the media. She was the one that contacted Neris and made the objective and said, why is there no bulk of feeling? And she hustled it all the way down. And she got the category in. And then I thank Neris for giving me the opportunity to represent the polka field in the mainstream of American music. And then I thank God for everything that happened. Right. Hey, hey. And I want to thank you for coming out at this hour of the night and showing your support for the person God love you all. He's been doing a lot of work under Neris' direction, and also for us, he was with us last year on the very thing. He spent a lot of time writing news releases. A nice round of applause for Mr. Nick Schmidt. Being involved in polka music because it, it's it's letting everyone 
know what poker music's all about. Well, let me tell it to you just like it is. I was nominated last year, and one of the best things that was said out there last year, that the polka field was represented with all five people being there. And no other category had the distinction last year when Frank Yankovic won it. This year, all four were there. Frank Yankovic didn't make it because he had some type of surgery on the day before the Grammys. And that's the only reason he wasn't there, but he did send Tony Pankosek, who is a disc jockey over WXCN up in Cleveland, and a well-known disc jockey, and he was there to represent him. And all four or five of us were there again to show these people that the importance of this for the entire polka field. And like I said, when I received this award up there, I just wanted to thank a girl by the name of Diane Rogajinsky, who made the effort to contact Neris and set this thing up so that there would be a polka category. And then I said to Neris, a thank you for giving us the opportunity to represent polka music in the mainstream of American music. And that's exactly where we're at. We're part of American music right now, and it's a great step forward. Has the idea been uh, tossed around that when will a polka band appear live on the Grammy telecast? I have put an ad in their paper, their magazine, I should Second say. Second year. Second year, and I have made that statement that I hope that someday we have the opportunity to represent the entire polka music industry worldwide with the presentation of our live concert of our band doing a tune on the National Network Grammy Show. We've already said that twice, and somewhere down the line, I hope somebody's out there paying attention to what we're saying. Do you think it would help if, uh, is there anything any, anyone can do? Or is, it, is that about the only thing we can do? Or do you think something could be done, maybe try to get some kind of national campaign going? have people send letters and stuff like that. You know, I couldn't do it before because we didn't have the distinction, but right now anybody that would write to any, any network, like whether it be CBS or NBC or anything, any of the talk shows, I'm sure we have a chance right now because we did win a Grammy. And it's a big step forward for Chicago. It's a big step forward for the polka music field. And we have to stick together on this, whether it be Slovenian, German, Polish, Croatia, everything, all of us have got to stick together and promote polka music one way or another. There can't be this selfishness and this different areas and restrictions on areas. There's got to be, this is the polka field. We all got to stick together, whether it be east, north, south, west, wherever the situation calls for, we got to get together. Tish, what was going through your mind at the time when I said, in the envelope, please? My heart was in my mouth. <laughs> I was shaken. I was nervous and afraid. Keith gets like that a lot. His, <laughs> his heart gets you had me crying again today, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. I was excited and I, I'm very proud of, of Eddie and the boys in the band. And I think it's a great honor. She's got a new outfit, it looks like, in uh, Los Angeles. Sure did. Looks good. Thank you. Well, that's about all for now, well, isn't it? Sure. Good afternoon, an explosive report from the Tower Commission in Washington today on the White House involvement in the Iran-Contra affair. We will be taking you to Washington live by Minicam in just a minute for some details on that Tower Commission report and reaction to it. Plus, you will hear from some foreign policy and legal experts on whether Ronald Reagan can recover from this damage. Also in the coming hour, Johnny Morris will check in by Minicam live as well from the Cubs training camp in Arizona. Bob Wallace will show you a zany pair of local actors who play eight characters in two hours of fun. We also have an exclusive interview with Bears President Michael McCaskey on First Edition today. The distinguished actor Michael Finney is going to be Cup's guest, and one of this year's Grammy Award winners is going to join us right here, all ahead in the next 60 minutes. But well, Chicago's home to the Bears, also home to a lot of very fine musicians, including the winner of this year's Grammy Award for the best polka recording. <laughs> Eddie Blazonczyk, with his band of Versatones, hit Grammy Gold for the first time Tuesday night. He's been making polka music since 1962. Eddie and his band travel by bus all over the United States and Canada, playing 200 one-night stands a year. Eddie, 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 Eddie. 
Last night, his fans and friends greeted him as he returned from the Grammy Award ceremony in Los Angeles. And you can see they love that guy as much as his music. wonder how many of those rock stars at the Grammy Awards got that kind of welcome home. Boy, it was a great welcome home. For a minute, I thought it was the Bears behind me on the Fan plane. Fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations on the Grammy. How does it feel to be in, in a Grammy Awards audience with all these really hip music makers from the world of rock and roll and so on? And I mean, polka music is considered to be a little strange among rock and roll fans. It has been up until last year. Uh, when it was accepted for the first time and given some respectability by being announced as a nomination. And this is your second nomination, yes, it is. right? Yes, it is. Did you have a feeling this year that, uh, that things I went that, that down was going to work? <laughs> <laughs> I went down there feeling we were going to take it all this year because um, we had a great tune on Polka Celebration. It was a great album. And uh, we tied with a group on the East Coast named Jimmy Stir. He has a fine band out there and a great album also. And... Uh, it's a great feeling. To Are you seeing a surge in popularity in polka music over the last several years? I have to admit, I don't listen to polka music at home. I don't dance to it on Saturday night. What kind of what kind of people are your fans? Years ago, when we got into this field, it was a lot different. Right now, the last five years, there's been an upsurge of young people. We're doing college dates right now. We're performing at uh, unusual places where we haven't worked. We do about 200 one-nighters, and they're like, fairs and summer fests, all types it's of things. It's got to be fun, though, isn't it? it, it is. To, to meet, meet people on that basis. It's a happy music, and all you meet out there is happy people. There's no problem with any kind of drugs or anything. This is polka music, and uh, people come out having a lot of fun. Well, we're happy and proud you won the Grammy this year. Good to have you from Chicago. Too. We thank you. Okay. Oh, terrific. Yeah. The great Kielbasa <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> great. Congratulations. I listen to it. I think that music is fabulous. Thank well, you, Walter. Well, just one question. Does the Grammy mean... A really great future for you now? I mean, it, you go to the top I of the stars and hurt, does it? It gives us a great future, definitely, because what, what I feel it's done for polka music is given us that respectability. It's put us into the mainstream of American music, and we've been striving and fighting for that for a long time. <laughs> oompa, oompa to you, okay? When we come back, a top Democrat will feel the heat, or is feeling the heat, that's for sure, in his bid for mayor, and a controversial alderman is arrested by the police, detail, and the charges.